Hey there guys and welcome to a new video. I wanted to do a little unboxing of two figures I got in a little time ago. And I thought it might be fun to make a little video out of that. So I'll just put up a little more lighting and we should be good to go. So first figure uh, you saw in the last video is Ilya, magical beach figure. She seemed pretty cute and there are two in this series which is Ilya and of course Miyu. So both of them ordered from Arconia.com. It's a web store here in the Euro in Europe and they were a really good price so I thought why not. So let's start off with Ilya. It doesn't have any tape on it so it's easy to open there we go okay so oh, there's a stand <laughs> it was still in the box so here we got the stand not that special though and here is of course Julia so let's try to take that apart carefully which isn't really my strongest point <laughs> and there we go so it's all set up easy as that really cute Yay! Really happy with that one. So cool. And next, Mew. Let's see if she's as cute as Ilya. Probably not, but Ilya is really, really cute, so it's hard to beat that. <laughs> this one has tape on it, so. This one takes a little longer to open. Come on. There we go. So same story. Same packaging of course. Mew. And a loose stand, which is exactly the same. So that's pretty cool. As you can see on the Squid Girl. Aoi and Konata. These are three different series. So they these have three different stands. And this one will these two will have the same stands, which is pretty cool. So same stand. And then there's Miyu. Okay, this this one has tape all over the back, so that's bit harder to unpack it, but nothing we can't handle, of course. There she is. Yay! <laughs> she looks a lot less arrogant than in the series. <laughs> really cute as well. focus yes so cute so really happy with these two figures like the details and uh, now they have to get a good place somewhere I think no, I'm not sure yet where I'm gonna put them but I will get a nice place for them also, I've got three new pop figures from Star Trek, the original series, which is totally different, but a cool addition to my collection. Got one in Rotterdam, which was this one, it was only 10 euros, and these two in Dordrecht, which is um, pretty close to Rotterdam if you take the train and really cool so i'm gonna start collecting the original series pop figures as well and 
I've got some new plushies, which are Plazzle and Minum, so cute, from the Inter Toys, which is a local toy store here in the Netherlands. Uh, really cute. And I've got the 20th anniversary Pikachu plushie, yeah, so cute. And also, I went to a flea market last weekend and I got something pretty special, which are these. These are actually two tiny suitcases which turn into this. Over here, we have a little Pokemon Center and a little playground a little beach which is really fitting fitting for the team right now <laughs> and this is poke park yeah poke park it's really tiny and everything can fold together like this and then you can put it back together to be a suitcase and i also got some other little pokemon thingies which I haven't unpacked yet, so let's do that right away. A Pikachu stamp. I'm going to tilt the camera because this is a lot of stuff. I bought this all. It's uh, all the Pokemon related things you're gonna see now. I bought it all for six euros, so which is around eight dollars, I believe. A little Charizard, the Charizard, Charmander, <laughs> file, another little Charizard, <laughs> no, Charmander, which looks kind of weird, but okay, little Eevee, I'm gonna tilt it a little more, a bit more, Meowth stamp, these are actually stamps, Really cool. I already had the Pikachu one. Come on. Yeah. I already had a Pikachu and a Gengar. Now I got Meowth too. So that's really cool. Focus. And a little Radicate, which I don't know what happened to his head, but it seems like it lost some paint. I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay. And Krabby, oh, Krabby has the same thing, so it's probably, it should, it probably should be this way. <laughs> Got a little Pikachu to go with the Charmander. These both have wheels, I don't know how they work, probably like this, yep. Oh. Lol. Okay, they don't seem to work as well as they used to back in... Hmm, it doesn't have a date, but I'm guessing these are pretty old. And, oh yeah, this this was the one I intended to get, actually. Which was a Pikachu on a surfboard. Really cute, but... Uh, I asked how much it was, so she said 1 euro. Or the entire box for 6 euros. So I went along with the whole box. <laughs> And, oh, Kingler, cool, that, that's really cool. And a little Mewtwo. Another Pikachu, which you can put on a pencil. A little Redditor. And the Gengar I already had, now I have double, but that's no problem. And got a little Pidgey, Mew, and Charmander Spill, apparently, and a little cardboard coin from Pikachu, but I didn't notice that. <laughs> Charmander lost it still. 
So, luckily, it's all still there. So all of this, the um, little figures, the these thingies, and the suitcases all together for six euro didn't seem like a bad deal to me. So yeah, and uh, also got these old pencil boxes from my aunt. She also gave me some VHS tapes from Pokemon, the first generation, and some other Pokemon stuff. And these were really cool. It's really old 90s stuff. Inside looks really great, outside a little less. But these are still really cool, so I'm going to give these all a good spot somewhere in my already really full room. So this was the video which I intended to be about only the Ilya and Miu figure but after all it turned out to be about everything I bought last weekend. <laughs> so I hope you liked the video and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye!